What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and welcome to Let's Play Ape Escape. Wow, what a game. This is a memory for me, as well as a landmark game in the history of video games, if I do say so myself. Uh, I'll talk about why that is in this first episode, but I'll start by saying I really like this game, and this is a game from my childhood, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna really enjoy LPing this. I can't remember if I ever beat the game, but I'm not going to put blind in the title because I I know about the game. I just don't remember beating it. Maybe I'll remember it when it happens. I guess we'll see. Have sort of a ring a bell somewhere like, oh yeah, that's what the boss looked like. I can't remember at all now. I get the feeling I never beat it as a kid. I remember this scene though. Damn polygons! Oh, the graphics. Oh wow, the graphics. I remember even, even as a kid, the trees kind of jumping around didn't look very good to me. Like, they could have done that better. Hey, Spike, did the professor finish the time station yet? Are we going to get to go back in time? God, it's like he said a... he'd be finished with it today. Let's go. I can't wait to check out the dinosaurs. And what about the future? Yeah, we'll keep talking because I'm going first. That's not fair. <laughs> Guys, their mouths move totally wrong. It's like a bad dub. <laughs> and maybe that's what it is. Maybe their mouths move for the Japanese text. Spike, Jake, over here, watch out! Spike, the time station! Eh? Uh? No, no, run you two! Oh, he's like, mm hmm? That don't look good. Look at the monkey eye polygons. Like, ooh, his eyes are popping out of his head. <laughs> oh boy. And so it begins. It works. It actually works. We did it, Natalie. We did it. The time station is complete. We don't have time for celebrating. We've got to do something. <laughs> oh boy, what what a memorable opening. I actually completely forgotten the opening. I remember them running down the road more than I remembered the scene with the time portal. Speak, can you hear me? You must listen carefully. Something awful has happened. There's been an accident. The time station has been activated by Spectre and you're being transported back in time. You'll soon arrive in the lost land when dinosaurs roam the earth. Spectre has sent the apes back in time to try to change the course of history. His plans for world domination have begun. And if we don't stop the apes, history will be changed forever. You're our only chance. Two of my gadget inventions, the Stun Club and the Time Net, were also caught in the transport. I want you to use them to catch the apes and send them back here. The Stun Club can be used to defend yourself against attackers. And when you use it on the apes, they'll be stunned. And you'll have an extra second to catch them with a time net. It's a good name. There isn't time for any monkey business, Spike. <laughs> Our fate is in your hands. We're depending on you. Be careful. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Hello, green-haired girl. What is her name? I wish I knew it. Someone knows it in the comments. Warning, capture three monkeys. Yep, so that's how the game goes. Let's listen here. Let's go! Oh, that soundtrack. Ah! I haven't played this game in years, and my control scheme is totally wrong. How does this always happen? <laughs> oh boy. Ah. Okay, I'm running around like an idiot because pushing up makes me go left. Let me, uh... Whoop. <laughs> Oh wow, I'm doing so bad this giving me tutorials now. Yeah. Okay, let me, uh, let me, f okay, R1 button to jump. That's weird. Alright. I can jump. Whoa, I can double jump already. I've got the power! Okay, let me, uh, <laughs> fix these controls. Oh god. Alrighty, then I'm back. Okay, fixed it. Now I can run properly. And, oh, I have to get used to not pushing X to jump. Oh boy. Climbing trees! Am I a man or an ape? Oh, there we go, I'm not pushing X to jump. Okay, so, whoa, R1 to jump. This is so weird. Okay, so let me explain. 
That little screen you saw at the beginning. Ow! I lost one of my cookies. That's health. Okay, so... Why am I walking funny? I'm having a hard time with this hill. Get over here, you monkey! Oh, gotcha! Oh, man, I remember that so much! It just rings a bell in my head. Sometimes I start slacking. I don't know what that is. Run faster! You can do it, Spike! Oh, I'm running right into the enemies. This is a beautiful thing. Oh, okay. Spin in circles! Defend yourself! Okay, go get that health. Why do I suddenly start sneaking sometimes? Anyway, so let me explain that screen you saw at the beginning of the game. It said, this game requires the dual analog, or the dual shock controller. So, back when the PlayStation, the original PlayStation, first came out, uh, the joysticks were absent. The controller did not have joysticks. It wasn't in the original design. Uh, it may have been in the original design, but it wasn't in the original release, that's for sure. Switch gadgets with the buttons! Okay, thank you. I can explain that, thank you. And yeah, so the control scheme is weird. Uh, Wee. Jumping with R1 is weird, firstly. Uh, <laughs> but, okay, so basically this game is a, a landmark because when the when Sony finally released the DualShock controller, they added the vibration, I think. I think that was when they added the vibrating feature. Uh, they also... Ooh, I'm gonna keep hitting this monkey. Oh, you dropped the banana on me. Ah, uh, that won't work, son. You ain't gonna fool me that easy. Come here, you. Oh! Gosh, that gotcha is like burned into my memory. I know that phrase so well, just the sound of it. Anyway, this game made a, made history, or in my head at least, uh, for being the... F oh, I can climb this. I, I didn't think I could reach it. There's like a thing up there. What is that? I wish I could look. Can I... I can use my binox. Ah, it's got a monkey face on it. That's Spectre for you. I can also jump with R2. That's weird. Anyway, this game made history, at least in my head, for being the first game to require the dual analog joysticks. Because, like in Spyro or something, you can use the D-pad and it works just fine, but you can also use the left thumbstick. Whereas this game, there's so many things in the game that depend upon having two jump, two joysticks. Now, the left one moves your character, and the right one swings whatever, or uses whatever item you have in your hand. So I'm, I'm just spinning the right stick, or I, I flick the right stick up in order to swing it. I don't actually push triangle except to equip it. So it's a bit weird. It's, the control scheme is really funky, to be honest. But, huh. It's just something you have to get used to, because that's what the game was built around. It, everything is designed around you having the two... Oh, you jumping out of the way. Everything is built around the two joysticks. Yes. So this is going to be like an, an exercise in reprogramming my mind. To be able to remember how to play in that style. Cause so few games went this route. It was just... I don't know why, but <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. It's a neat idea. It's certainly very original. Oh, thank you. What was her name? Joy? Joyce? Janet? Stanley? Oh! Ah, the hub world. There's always a hub world. Hey, mailbox. Welcome to the time station! Everything here will help you with your mission! This is the warp room. In front of you, the round switch will take you to the stage select. Behind you, the red switch will let you save the game. Alright, yeah, we should talk to mailboxes because they have lots of good information in them. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, that sound! That sound! Gosh, I'm just I'm nostalgic so hard right now. I just nostalgia with my pants. A new gadget. Oh. It out. This is the water net. Use it when you're underwater. I equipped it with an oxygen meter. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. All right. Oh, I'm yawning. It's late at night. Ah. That's put A. That's put X. Okay. And we get to go to the, the magical training room. I'm going for it. I got four t-shirts down there. I guess those are extra lives. The water net appears when you're in the water. Swim around using the left stick. Exit the water by jumping to the surface. Just so speed up, push the R1 button. While swimming or surfacing, the faster you swim, the faster you'll win. That's cool. Okay, so... The way you fire the net is by clicking the right thumbstick. And it's amazing that I still remember that after all these years. Oh, yeah, I see. So the air meter is a certain amount. How do I go up? Oh, I just stop swimming. How do I go down? Uh, how do I go down? Okay, I can go around at the same height. But how do I go up and down? It's not... Oh, it's the joystick! Oh, okay. Okay, I let go to go up. 
I click the left joystick to go down, I let go to go up. And if I hold R and swim, I can hold it one altitude. Okay, that makes sense. Ah, look at this. Oh, they're teaching me now. Okay. Push the left stick to dive down. Yeah, so you can see it's, it's still just built around the sticks. They didn't want you to push a button. They wanted you to push the stick, because that is a button. And they wanted you to know that. I just, I love it. It's, it's really interesting. Most games just work with the controller. This game was made with the controller in mind. And that's totally different. It's just... Okay, I, I got it. Thank you. I'm gonna go catch the fake monkey in this water. Gosh, I've played this game so many times, I remember the little details at the beginning. Like the fact that that was a fake little monkey buoy down there. Okay. Wow. Yeah, so it's, it's so interesting because... Games, like I say, most of the time, just, they just have the controller in mind. It's something that they end up working with eventually. Yeah, if I try and run straight forward, I kind of start walking slow. That's weird. Whereas this game was... was the controller was part of the game. It was intrinsic to the gameplay. Whereas normally it's just a tool. So I, I love it. It's a totally different angle, and it's really unique. I, I can't think of any other game off the top of my head. I've been thinking about this for the past couple of days, actually. I can't think of any other game off the top of my head. That, oh, that a sudden crawling thing is really going to get to me. I'm going to have to run at little, little diagonals everywhere. Because, uh, oh, I can't double jump after that much height, I guess. Ah, yeah! Yep. Alright, yeah, so, uh, I can't think of any other game off the top of my head that, yeah, for some reason when I push... Oh, I just got hit by something. You jerk. Get up here. I remember those guys. The big fish frog things. I don't even know what these guys are. What does it look like to you? Huh. Weird. There's another one over there. Shooting rocks at me. Okay, what's up here? I need some more monkeys. Yes, I can't think of any other games that use the joystick in that way. Whoop, slippery. Long jump. No, there's no long jump in this game. Ah, uh, slippery slope. The physics of the double jump are a bit weird. You can change direction in the middle of the jump, which, you know, is silly to begin with, but it's kind of funny when it's a double jump already, and then you can suddenly flip around the other way. Come here, you. That's two. So if you haven't got on already, the main gameplay function in here is you're running around with this net and you're trying to catch all the monkeys. I mean, there's probably one under the water. Let's see. Oh, look, there's a specter token. I forget what these do, but you want to get them. Ding! That's cool. Let's see if I can sneak up on this guy from underneath. Ha 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 Gotcha, monkey! Your, or I guess I should say ape. <laughs> I don't know. It is ape escape, isn't it? Let's swim over here. I'm not really... I'm, I'm gonna try and 100% this game, but this is the kind of game where you can't get everything your first time in a level. You have to come back later. So there's no point in trying to get 100% right away. I'm just gonna play for a bit, and then once we start getting more gadgets and I realize I can go back for stuff, I'll start going back. Let's see if I can get him before he jumps off. Yep! That's four. Yes! So it's going to be kind of quick at the beginning here, because it's mostly just running around and catching the monkeys. There's not a whole lot of uh, <laughs> challenge, I guess, at the very beginning here. But I don't remember beating the game, so it must have been hard enough that I never finished it as a kid. Or is that bad memory? Thank you. I think I did it all right. That was, wrong. that was good. I didn't crawl around too much, even though the joystick was really funny. But it's a little funny that they send you right back out to the hub instead of sending you to... What's in here? Instead of sending you off to... what is this? Off to the next level select screen. What do these do? It says times ten. I have to get ten tokens, I guess. This is the minigame quarter. Okay. Oh, alright. So, apparently, I have to... Oh, there's a little memory card icon up there. That's funny. Apparently, I have to get more Spectre tokens before I can do the fun stuff in the minigame corner. What's in here? Let me figure this out. So I walk kind of slow, unless I go at an angle. So I'll just remember that, to walk at a little bit of an angle all the time. I'm going to zigzag this whole game. What is these? What is this two? Okay. Not much. Is it just straight forward that does it, too? What's straight back? No, just straight forward. Very strange. Never encountered a bug like that. Ah, look! Oh, it's, this is the training. This is the water net training. Okay, I get it. See the little memory card up there? That's funny. I dig that. A little break in the fourth wall. That's always fun. Whoops, this isn't what I want. So over here is the save area. 
I think you can actually... Let's, uh... Let's save. I seem to remember there being something in here. Oh, wow, yeah, floating in space. Oh, the monkey book! That's what I remembered! Okay. So let me save here, and then I'll show you guys the monkey book. Let's save. I already have a file! Wow. We'll go on file four. When? When was the last time I played that game? This game? Hang on, let me see how far I got. Uh, 6%? Oh. So I went like one level farther than I have already in this LP. So I didn't get very far. I don't even remember doing that. So this is the monkey book. And I think, yeah, in here it shows you... So first you can see how many monkeys are in each land, which they actually tell you at the beginning of the level, but you might not be paying attention at that point. And you can see which ones they are, and this is this is the cool part. There's so much detail in this game. If I click on a monkey, I can get his data, and it tells me his name, his speed, his alert, and then a little description at the bottom. So this Noonan has helmet hair problems. <laughs> Who's next? And then there's Georgie, who wants to watch wrestling, and Natty, who dances to loud music. And then I can go to the next level and see what they're up to. Shay is just chillin'. Monkey level 1. Dr. Monk, wondering where lunch is. <laughs> Enjoying the view. Okay, I think from now on, I'm gonna... Whoops. I'm gonna hit circle over and over again, because it takes you forward and then back and forth and back and forth and back. I think from now on, I'm gonna go through the monkeys for a level when we finish the level, so I can go through them all at once. Rather than coming back and forth. Interesting. Very interesting. Gosh, that's so funny. I, I love little details like that in games. All right, what's next? Let's, get, let's, let's do one more level. Lost Land. Molten Lava! Hello, green-haired girl. I'm gonna call you Yotsuba. Capture four monkeys! Probably those of you who know have already left me a comment telling me what her real name is, but... She's Yotsuba for this, for this LP. Oh, I remember this level. There's a monkey behind the waterfall. There's a monkey in the eggs! Let's go! Yeah! Come on, Spike. Let's go catch some monkeys. I, I should start calling them apes. They're apes. You're surrounded by a steep cliff. If you fall off, you're finished! Use the D-pad or the L2 buttons to move the camera around. Oh! Oh, the D-pad! Ah! Ah! Okay. Cool. The camera naturally faces whichever way Spike is facing. So you know what? I can just jump everywhere and that'll... That'll fix my whole slow motion problem. I'm already getting the hang of these controls. This is good. Oh! And off I run! <laughs> I jinxed myself, that's for sure. Can you enter the water here? Yeah, so I just, I just, yeah! I love the front flip and the, and the way he puts his right arm up after he does it, he's just like, VICTORY! Yeah, there's the monkey behind the waterfall. Where are you? Oh, he's, oh, he threw a rock at me! I hope that wasn't poop, that was a rock, right? I hope that was a rock, man. Come here. Ah! Ow, jeez! Sometimes the most basic mechanic, catching the monkeys, is actually the hard part. It is a little weird, because you cannot move while you're swinging the net. Don't you run out there now. Alright, you will. I'm getting the stun club out. Now, the stun club is a little silly to use on the monkeys, because when you think about it, if you can hit them with the club, you can hit them with the net, so you might as well just catch them and be done with it. And I... whoops. Hey, let's get all these little tokens. I'm sure they're good for something. Probably one-ups if you get a hundred or something like that. We'll just pick them up. They're, they're giving them away at this point, so... Might as well. Ching, 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 ching. So the stun club really isn't for stunning the monkeys. It's really for oops, slippery slope. Oh, look at that spectre token up there. We gotta, we gotta go get that. It's really for taking out the enemies because they don't really care about being hit with a net. Okay, let's get the token. Oh, I missed it. I slid right under. I wasn't paying attention. Whoops. <laughs> edge detection. Very, very sensitive in this game apparently. Get right up to the edge of that and then you just whoop, you're slipping around. All right, let's turn around. I see that pterodactyl over there. I'll deal with him in a minute. No, I went under it again! Ah, got it. Nice. Alright. Let's continue. I just keep the camera at a little bit of an angle all the time. Oh, that, that egg just shook. Oh, you little... Come here. Probably can't catch him while he's under an egg. Oh, there's a... I love spinning in circles with this club. That's what I always did as a kid. Oh, gotcha. Just barely nicked him with the edge of the net. I'm just going to avoid that pterodactyl, I think. And head back into this cave. Yeah, with, this, with the red light. Because I remember something 
in this level. And this might be it right here. Oh, this is it. T-Rex! There's a monkey on the T-Rex! Yeah, I'm serious, man. Ah, oh, I missed! Come back here, T-Rex! Oh no, don't come back here! Oh no! Oh my! <laughs> oh gosh! I Oh, I'd almost forgotten about this! The T-Rex, man! There's a monkey on the T-Rex! Okay, here's another monkey out here, too. Looks like he's asleep or something. Gotcha! Gotta pay attention, little boy. Little, little man, little monkey man. Whoop, I almost got the monkey. Eh, I'm doing this wrong. No, come back with my monkey! Oh, he's not happy. Gotcha! Right off the tail. Yes. Well... <laughs> I can't think of a better way to end an episode of an LP than by catching a monkey off the back of a T-Rex. Can you? I can't. I can't think of anything cooler. You did great. Thank you! I'm gonna call her Joy. She looks like Joy to me. And she brings me joy by telling me how great I did. <laughs> yep! So this is Ape Escape. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this LP. This is gonna be a walk down memory lane for me with the T-Rexes and the lightsaber. Just Let's just be honest, this is a lightsaber right here. You spin for longer, it gets a little bit of a larger radius. That's interesting. Ah, nice. Oh, look, it actually gets longer in his hand, too, and then shrinks when you stop. Oh, you can't see it when I'm not facing to the side. Oh, you see it? Like, eh, it comes back in? I don't know. Alright, so that's all for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, I can't promise any T-Rexes, because I don't remember what comes next. So this will be fun for both of us. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time on Let's Play Ape Escape.